One of the most exciting features coming to Unity 6 is the LOD system, but it's currently not in. I was browsing the Unity forums and I noticed this post by Jepter. He's an employee at Unity and this Unity employee said, Hi everyone, I'm excited to share that Mesh LOD will be available to try out in Unity 6000.2.0A7 alpha. I went to ChatGBT and in ChatGBT using the ChatGBT 03 mini, I just typed in where to download Unity and I just typed in the exact version the developer shared in the forum. And to keep in mind, I'm looking at the Unity forum where you can find a lot of awesome developer information. To my surprise, ChatGBT gave me the right link. So if you're wondering where I got this from, this is where it was from. I come from a 3D art background. I am just testing out with my own existing assets. Um, this is a turtle asset that I created for the Unity Asset Store. So I'm just gonna use this as an example. So it's super simple to set up and I really like the mesh quality it generates from the LOD. It's much better than a lot of the other mesh LOD systems or generators that I've used in the past. So all you do is you select the FBX file you want to create LODs for, and you'll notice in the inspector right here in the, in the model tab, you see this new thing called mesh LODs, and it's just a checkbox you activate. So in this case is there's a generate mesh LODs checkbox. I check it. So once you check generate mesh LODs, you have to press apply. And from here, it looks like almost nothing happened, but we did see our thumbnail refresh. So if I come in and select any of my mesh filters on the FBX file, from here, there's a new slider down here. Right now it's on zero, so that's LOD zero. And it's showing my vertice. And also right here, it says mesh LOD zero. Verts 1000, roughly 1000 verts. Now, if I move this slider, you'll notice that I'll cycle through all the LODs are generated. So at the high point, this is just the left arm. It's a thousand verts. On the lowest LOD five, it's 64 triangles. So we went from 1,772 triangles down to 64 triangles. And it did this for all of my pieces. For this character, I had it separated pieces. It was just easier for me to rig and animate, and, but you'll notice that same thing for the head right here that I have selected, 4,000 something triangles, all the way down to 63. Obviously the 63 might be a little aggressive, so I'd probably just bump it down a little bit up, but this is all, uh, it really depends on the, the zoom in your game. So if you're super far away and it's just a few pixels, you can bump it down to LOD5, and, or in this case, LOD7, no one will notice. So let's go ahead and actually see this in game now. So I have my game set up here. Let me adjust this so that it's a little bit easier to preview. I'm gonna bring my inspector down here. And then, so I have the scene view on the top left corner. And then on the top right corner, I have my game view. So I'm gonna go in play mode so we can see this animated. And for now, I'm just gonna I'm getting used to the controls here. So this is the character we're gonna be um, just checking out here and it's playing the idle animation. And for this case, to really show you what the LOD is for is, usually you want to base this off your, how close your camera is to the character. Because obviously if you've, you're fully zoomed into the character, um, going to, the lowest resolution LOD is not gonna look great, but that's, the point is when you're really zoomed out, like for example, where I'm at right now in the game, to, I haven't hooked this up to the camera yet, but you'll get the general idea as I show you this. There's a new slider added um, called the LOD selection bias. And I can use this um, to really preview the geometry generated. So in the scene view, you'll see my wire selection is turned on. And when I, right now it's on zero, so it's showing the maximum resolution. And as I cycle it down, you'll notice that it's 
reducing the geometry. And this is like the this is the lowest it can go. And you also said it's the it's super low poly now. But where you should really focus your attention is, is in the game view. And in the game view, I'm going to maximize this tab here. Actually, maybe not maximize because that makes it so that I can't quite easily show you the LOD slider. So in this game view right here, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. If I go to zero, you can't really tell what's going on. And if I pump it up all the way to five, just looking at this game here, um, that's where this becomes super handy is when you're when you're zoomed out. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit more. Obviously, if I go like super close here, you'll start seeing some of the artifacts. But again, we'll go back to down to zero. Looks great, normal. And then obviously when you're this zoomed in, you probably don't want to just crank it up to five in this case, because you'll see some shading errors. But really, for most games, this looks fine too. But that's the trick here is balancing between the different LODs versus the your zoom level in the game. But that's it. It's super simple to use. If you're actually trying to implement this in a game, you would need to add some sort of logic that would activate this LOD bias on when your LODs kick in. I'm really excited to see this finally come into Unity 6. I feel like Unreal Engine has had an LOD system for the longest time, but it's really the simple stuff that sometimes you wonder why did it take this long for this feature to be in? It doesn't look like it's that complicated to develop. And for a lot of developers and artists that use Unity, this is the feature for me. And I really look forward to just having all of my models go use the system because fortunately, when I was de designing this creature right here, I was a little bit too lazy to, not lazy, but it's just such a pain to go in there and manually by hand creating LODs for um, a lot of these models. And at the time, I had a feeling that Unity is going to come out with their own LOD system. So I'm glad I didn't create custom LODs for this. The LOD generated by Unity's new mesh LOD looks fantastic. My animations look great and it all works really nicely. I'm really happy about the quality that I'm seeing with the LOD meshes that are being generated with this new system.